All right, to use one of the features that I really like about this system is go to the information and you can look at the about and this will just tell you the firmware and all the tech details about your uh, satellite receiver uh, if you want to update it and all that uh, the devices so it has two t tuners plugged into it now you can plug a usb atsc tuner into these the um, win tv one will work but i just haven't bothered uh setting that up I have one of the older versions of that, not the newer version that works better for that. So I haven't really bothered buying an extra one for that purpose. Uh, has the memory. Uh, also, another thing that's good to have is the network uh, information here. Where this is really handy, so the IP address this is the main thing. So there's a web interface. So if you type in, now on my router, I have it set up for a 192.168.134. And I have it plugged in with a LAN connection. Now you can connect this up to your Wi-Fi uh, if you want to go that route. I just prefer to have everything hardwired into my in, with my house. Um, so it just allows you. And also, if you're uploading video that's a really high quality HD video, it'll go over the network uh, a lot better, in my opinion, with the LAN connection. So we can, you can use that, and basically that will allow you to connect with either the web interface to a web browser, or you can actually connect. Uh, using a DreamSat uh, app on a on an Android phone, and uh, view all your satellite channels, stream it over your Wi-Fi network, and um, be able to uh, watch a lot of the, watch your channels on the go. Well, as long as you're in your Wi-Fi area or you have like a, a proxy set up at your house, I guess and you can. If you have all that set up on your router, uh, like a VPN on your router, where you can connect to your home network remotely that would allow you to be able to watch your satellite tv anywhere in the world another thing i will say is the service so like for example this channel here is revival um it's a religious channel so they got a and it tells you all the video specs of it that it's a havoc channel it's 1080p and the service reference and all that so also shows tuner status there you go so you can get all your uh, video information from your satellite service there. Streaming clients, um, there's none installed. So one neat thing that I found with this receiver, or if you have a, or if you have uh, two cables going into your dual tuner. So for example, uh, if there's a, a transponder that has multiple channels and you're on the same transponder, you could actually watch, like for example, Heartland Hunt and AO, uh, AWE. You can be watching those three channels on like different devices, which is kind of a neat feature of this. But then the problem is if you switch to a, a different polarity on your um, on your uh, um, satellite receiver, uh, it won't work. But uh, it is kind of neat if you have channels on the same transponder and you can view different video sources all at once. I've had it open up on my computer where I've had like four different videos playing off the same transponder. So that was kind of a neat feature. What you simply do is with that 192.168 address, you type it into your computer. It should load up this, uh, which will allow you to do several things with your, with your receiver through your web browser. You can go to current, you can see your signal quality, what tuner it's uh, coming in, what channel you're on, and various features like that. You can grab a screenshot of what's going on in your satellite receiver. You can look receiver. at the providers, your satellites, and all channels. EPG if it's available, but unfortunately there's no EPG uh, in my area. But one of the nice things you can do with this is you can um, change channels with this. So for example, if I wanna to go to the hunt channel, it will just uh, say zap to and eventually all you'll see it switch to yellow and that will be the hunt channel. All right, go back to uh, CBN News. It'll be, wait for a second, it should pop up as viewable. Now it has a picture of a phone. Oh, it transcodes it. That's interesting. I didn't realize it had this now. That's kind of neat that it will transcode your phone because the old one would uh, just basically, I don't really need it too transcoded, but I'll, I'll open this up. And what will happen is when you click on the download, 
here we go we had 700 club um it's kind of made the aspect a little off here uh maybe for watching on your phone or whatever but uh so it allows you to watch basically you can be able to watch um the video off the satellite receiver on your computer on a tablet or smartphone the resolution looks weird here let's try it without the transcode and it should pop up here There, it made the aspect right there, so the aspect looks correct. And uh, so this allows you to just basically stream. Yeah, it's kind of neat. I really like this feature um, for uh, so, um, when I'm, when watching uh, channels. You can watch your content on a computer or anything. Uh, radio button for your radio channels, movies, and timers. I guess the timers would be a nice thing if you want to um, program your receiver to uh, record a program and do it all on a, on your uh, web interface. Yeah, either just to play because I think this is a great thing for North America because we don't have an EPG guide, but it allows you to switch your receiver. So if you don't want to like find the remote, you know, like you want to watch one channel at certain times, you could just have that auto switch for you. So uh, it will basically move your receiver to the channels you want without you having even to find the remote. It just automatically goes to it for you. I, now you can do all this in the receiver settings, but it, if you just uh, want to be able to uh, do a lot of configuring. Now there's other programs uh, that will do this as well that you can download. Um, and also there's apps that uh, you can put, but I just, I prefer using the web interface because with the Linux, it usually just works right out of the box. And our thing too is the satellite. So if you want to go through all your satellite lists, gives you a quick uh, run through. If you want to set up a favorites list, so if you edit uh, the boutique editor, you can make like a favorites list of say like, for example, what I do on one of my other open ATV boxes is for my favorites, I have like maybe about 10, 20 channels that are like my go-to channels. And I just uh, put, all the ch um, put all the channels into that. It makes it work great. Uh, cause then I <laughs> really, I only watch a few channels and I can have a quick go to, uh, without having to go all the way into the satellite receiver and try to figure out where the channels are.